nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And lift off. Lift off of Karen Nyberg, Fyodor Yushikin, and Luca Pamitano on a six hour ride to the International Space Station. This is the first of the young generation of astronauts, so we are changing of generation. And that uh, is certainly something important for ESA because we, we are preparing the future with this new uh, class of astronauts. So he is now just 40 meters away from the International Space Station docking port. Contact confirmed. We have a initial docking of the Soyuz 35 spacecraft carrying Commander Fyodor Yershikin, NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg, and European Space Agency astronaut Luca Pomertano with the International Space Station. Uh, I hope that uh, you found watching our launch. We certainly did. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Just for you guys, uh, based on what we heard with Lucas saying that uh, water is in his eyes now and it seems to be increasing, uh, we think we're going to terminate EVA case for EV2. So, Luca, we'll have you head back to the airlock. Chris, we'll get a plan for you to uh, clean things up here and then join him here in a minute. Patch is open, Shane. About half an hour into the EVA, 45 minutes maybe, uh, Chris and I were, were ahead on our task, so uh, we were starting our, our third task, and uh, I felt some water on the back of my head, and I realized that uh, it was cold water. It, 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 was a, it was not a normal feeling, so I, I, I told ground, and uh, at that point we called the terminate for the EVA. I started going back to the airlock and then uh, went inside and as soon as the, uh, as the two compartments were equalized, uh, they doffed, uh, meaning they took off my helmet, uh, wiped my face from all the water, about uh, three, po three pounds of water, I would say, and, uh, and that was the end of it. The space station is an incredibly advanced orbital laboratory and the science that we do on the station cannot be replicated anywhere else. It can only be done on the station and at any moment on the station we have um, between 130 and 150 experiments running and now the crew interacts with about two-thirds of it so uh, we will be um, dealing with installing, uh, repairing or following about 100 experiments and on these um, probably a good 20% uh, or more are physiology experiments where we are the science, the, we are the objects of the science and we perform the experiments on ourselves. During my expedition I, I was extremely lucky. In, uh, in about six months we had three visiting vehicles, three very different ones. Uh, one of them is um, ATV, uh, the European Automatic uh, um, uh, Transport Vehicle and it brought an incredible amount of, uh, of uh, material supplies. Uh, at the same time, we also had HTV Kunotori 4, uh, the Japanese uh, vehicle. And then recently, um, uh, we had a, a pretty historic moment when uh, the, the second of the uh, commercial uh, vehicle, Cygnus, uh, 
I arrived on the station and I was the operator at the robotic arm to grapple it. The machine behaved beautifully, it was uh, very stable and I was lucky enough uh, to be able to grapple it and then release it a couple of weeks later after uh, we emptied all its content. One of the places that we like the best here on the space station, and I'm not talking only about myself, but all astronauts, is certainly Cupola, our windows, our window on the Earth. It's, uh, it's beautiful for many reasons. It's, it offers a 360 degrees view on our planet, which is, uh, which is a beautiful sight and incredibly humbling. Uh, but at the same time, it offers us the possibility to take, uh, to take pictures that otherwise we wouldn't be able to take. And uh, uh, we, we have the luxury of flying uh, over the ocean and over land, uh, covering most of the, uh, of the, of the lands that, that are on our planet. We can take pictures of, uh, of places that are really far away that we would never see otherwise, and uh, including uh, things that happen uh, on that very moment, like eruptions. Only a few days ago, uh, we were able to capture an eruption uh, of uh, Mount Etna in Sicily, in southern Italy, and that was, uh, that was a fantastic opportunity for, for us to see it happening and for people on the ground to have a first-hand view of what is happening on the ground. And the scientists are very excited to get our pictures. They can, they can see how our land changes because of natural occurrences or uh, the interventions of the, of the humans, and how these changes develop through the years. You can see uh, the Soyuz spacecraft uh, drifting away uh, from the International Space Station against the limb of the Earth, uh, continuing its opening rate uh, toward a distance eventually of about 12 kilometers or seven and a half miles away from the station for the deorbit burn. And uh, that uh, video now back, a great view of the Soyuz TMA 09M spacecraft uh, with uh, Fyodor Yurchikin, Karen Nyberg, and Luca Parmitano in the descent module, beginning uh, the trek home to wrap up their five and a half months in space. Flight controllers uh, standing by for touchdown. You see the ground uh, beneath the Soyuz. And there he is, Luca Parmitano with a big thumbs up, carried uh, out of the Soyuz uh, spacecraft uh, to his chair. And a wave to the crowd from Luca Parmitano from the European Space Agency, uh, completing his first flight into space, 166 days in orbit in his journey along with his crewmates.